Welcome to the Graham Miller Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Sam Murray, joined now with Stevenson Men's Soccer Head Coach Graham Miller. And Coach, eight games into the season, quite the turnaround from last year, sitting at 5-3. and three. Just talk about your team's performance through the first half of the season. Yeah, overall, uh, just uh, impressed with a young team, you know, very young team. We brought in a lot of new players, uh, 24 to be exact. And, uh, you know, the guys have really, uh, they really uh, are starting to come together. Uh, over the over the course of the season so far, and uh, just impressed by the way they've uh, they've matured quickly. You know, our season is so short uh, to be able to you know win five games at this stage and uh, be better than obviously the last couple of seasons is uh, just great for the program in general, and uh, gives the guys some extra confidence. Yeah, talking about confidence, going back to last season, scored ten goals all last season. You've scored twenty-two all of last season. You had one hundred and seventy-seven shots. You're sitting at one fifty-seven. What do those stats, those type of numbers do for, for the extra boost of confidence? Well, the stats certainly sound a lot better than at the end of last year. Uh, I mean, that's what it is. It's, it's all about confidence. When you're a young team, it's, uh, you want to get on the right foot. If you start losing games, it can be very tough for a young team men mentally to come back from it. Uh, you know, and we found that last year. But we had a bit more of an experienced team last year, and the guys really did push all the way to the end. And, you know, I credit that team last year for, for not giving up all the way to the end of the season. Uh, this young team needed to start off, and, and we had a tough bump, uh, you know, to start with with Washington College. It's a game that we outshot them. I think we had over 20 shots that game, and we lose 2-1. Um, so, you know, to get over that and then turn around with Penn College and win 6 nothing, uh, you know, gave them that, that breathed life into the team. So right away, having that game where we, where we scored six goals and we also scored against Washington, we didn't get shut out. Uh, and, and we created so many opportunities. We knew the finishing was going to come. And, and, and you've seen that with how many shots we've taken each game and, uh, you know, the goals we're scoring. I mean, yeah, we're close to three goals a game. Uh, and, and giving up only one goal a game, which is what our goal at the start of the season, I talked about it in the preseason uh, you know, uh, video that we wanted to be over two goals a game and less than one. And that was the difference from last year so far. And it's going to get tougher with conference, but we're really happy that the guys are, are doing the right things against the teams that we should be beating. And from the outside looking in, and you might think differently, but the story of the season to me is kind of capped by that Wilkes game on Saturday. It's won three straight. It's the first time we've won three straight since 2014. And to come from behind, down one nothing less than 10 minutes ago and score two goals to win that game. What is that type of game and for a young team to come from behind do moving forward? And, and that's, yeah, that's a, it's a great observation because that, that really was, and you've seen the way we celebrated and I definitely enjoyed that celebration on, uh, on Saturday. We, uh, you know, Washington, York and Catholic, the three losses were all teams that we could have beat. Very good teams, uh, doing well so far in, in non-conference. And those were the games that were the close games. Uh, the Penn College, the Shenandoah, um, St. Vincent, Del Val, these were games that we were expected kind of to win on paper. Uh, and we took care of them, but we took care of them in, 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 in the fashion that we needed to and, and got a lot of goals. The Wilkes game was back to those Washington, you know, Catholic, York. So for us then to, you know, to be down 1-0, to uh, not give up, uh, you know, and I, I was trying to change things and the guys did it without me. They didn't, they didn't need it. They fought back and, and, and two great goals and, you know, Jevin with a great, you know, end swinging free kick and, and then Jay to get the goal off a diving header. Uh, and you've seen how much it meant to him, you know, at, at the end of that game as well. So for, for a young team to finally get a game that, you know, we're, we're even with, I would say, I think Wilkes is a, is a good program. Uh, the coaches did a great job with them. That's huge for, for us now. Now we can say, okay, we can go into this week and go into conference and we can win those close games. Can we win those close games? And, and uh, uh, I think the guys should really, should really be encouraged by that result on Saturday. And, and you're right, I think that was the, the story of our season so far, really, that game was a huge one. Yeah, you mentioned Jay Smith. He leads the team with five goals, but you're getting scoring from all over the field. The reigning rookie of the year, Tarek Lee, he has three goals, two assists. Dylan Holy from the de defense, four goals, all with his head. And then DR Medtar, he's has, he has five assists. Just talk about the play all throughout the field. Well, you look at those, you know, that's, uh, and that's what we want. We've got so, so much talent here. We've got so much depth across the board, uh, even depth in the, uh, the goalkeeping position as well. Um, but, you know, across the board, we, we're getting guys scoring goals. And that's great, you know, because you can't always rely on Tarek Lee. You know, we say, you know, coming back from Rookie of the Year. People know him now, so he's going to be probably marked a little bit tighter. Uh, Jay, you know, leading the way, you know, as one of our sophomores, DR with the assists. I mean, he, 
he really has uh, you know improved tremendously and uh, with his set pieces and, and delivery and then Dylan you know Dylan coming up I mean not often you get center back that's put in four goals and uh, you know he's a big weapon for us on the long long throw-ins and corner kicks so uh, having having a range of different scorers means that somebody you, you don't have to rely on one person and uh, you know they could be having a bad game you need other people to step up and that's the great thing about our team right now is you know when when everybody's stepping up everybody's doing what they need to do to to win the game and some of those are, are rookies some of them are freshmen Diego Guerrero Dale Boring and mm -hmm. put the ball in the back of the net talk about their play because there are quite a few freshmen getting a lot of minutes yes and, and the freshmen you know we're you know we you, there's no uh, I don't gradually ease them in you know this is uh, this is college soccer now you know you don't go back to being like a freshman in high school where maybe you're you know you sit in the bench for a little bit you kind of ease into it you're playing college I mean you're an adult you need to come in and uh, earn playing time and those freshmen have earned their playing time uh, and you know amongst the amongst the uh, upperclassmen and uh, the freshmen are really standing out I tell them to be confident if you're one of the players that gets the opportunity to play you can't be nervous it's soccer you got to go out and enjoy it and, and be confident and you know we're seeing a lot of freshmen step up because they have to you know we expect them we expect them to step up and, it, and it's great to see and you know they, sh they shouldn't feel pressure because they are freshmen but they should want to win and want to do well on the field to get more minutes and one of those freshmen is is a goalkeeper Matt Stellatano he's been getting a lot of minutes between the posts it is a pair of shutouts Talk about his play so far this year. Yeah, Matt, Matt has done a great job. And, and we've got four great goalkeepers that are all, you know, competing for playing time. Matt and Bobby have been the ones that have been uh, kind of going back and forward. Matt has, uh, you know, been getting the playing time recently. And uh, they know that they've got to bring it in practice every time because they've got, you know, so much competition. And that's what we, we wanted. We wanted this team to have depth in every position. And uh, it starts with the keepers. And Matt is a freshman. You see how brave he is. I think they had like three or four corners at the end of the Wilkes game and uh, you know he just came out and punched the ball like you know three or four times and and that's what we want we want our keepers to take command and and as a freshman that kid has no fear and we want that with all our goalkeepers being able to you know take charge take charge of the defense and you know we, we and, and he's learned from his mistake because in the Washington College game where we lose 2-1 and he admitted he should have come off his line for that second goal he didn't they score we lose the game and and you know he didn't regress he learned from it. You know, we, we talk about it's not losing. It's not, you know, we're learning from our, our mistakes. It's a learning experience. And that's what non-conference is. Build for conference play. Let's, let's learn from our mistakes. And the, the freshmen are buying into that. And they are doing that, what they need to do. Yeah, looking forward to the second half of the season. Conference play starts on Saturday. You have Arcadia. And then it doesn't get easy. You host number one, defending national champion Messiah on Wednesday, and then that following Saturday hit the road for 20th ranked Lycoming. Talk about the conference play and where you want to see your team go from here. Well, you know, the conference is a tough conference. The, the MAC has, has had a, uh, you know, really tough conference for a while in men's soccer. Uh, we've got to, you know, we've got to get into the playoffs. We, have, we haven't been in the MAC playoffs yet as a, as a program for uh, Stevenson men's soccer. So our goal is to get into the playoffs and finish as high as possible. You know, we talked to the guys at the start of the year. We, we want to get in the MAC playoffs. That's one of our goals, and we want to finish as high as possible. So regardless if we're playing, you know, Arcadia Messiah like homing the first week or the last week, uh, it's a game. We gotta, it's a conference game. We've got to get up for it. Um, we're excited for Arcadia on Saturday. We're not going to, uh, you know, and we're not going to look ahead to Messiah like homing. We have to win, you know, the game against Arcadia if we want to, you know, be in the top five. Uh, so we're excited. We're excited to get, get rolling with conference. The guys are... Uh, you know, just just ready. I think we're, we're ready to take that next step for our program and that's to to reach the Mac playoffs. Well, coach, we wish you the best of luck and hopefully uh, we'll be sitting here previewing that Mac, Mac Commonwealth playoffs. I hope so. For head coach Graham Miller, I'm Sam Murray and this has been the Graham Miller Show.